Hello, in this video we're going to go over the selection tools and scan regions inside ReCap. The main point of these tools is to help organize your scene. So now let's go over doing some selections. So let's fly in here and we will select some objects. So first thing at the bottom you'll see the selection window and you have three options. You have window, fence, and plane. Uh, rectangular, the rectangular window is the one selected by default and with left mouse and drag we can draw a rectangular window and select all the points within that window. So you can see it selected all the points inside the fence. So another thing you'll notice as with all the tools in ReCap is they're highly contextual with the menus that show up here in the bottom middle. So now that I have a selection, I have all of the tools that I would like to use with the selection show up on the bottom. So I can create a new region with the, those points, which we'll be doing later in this video. And I can clip the points inside or outside of my selected region, or I can delete the points, or I can just click clear to go back to deselected or just press escape. Um, the same idea for the fence. This is just a polygonal fence. So you can do the same thing. You can draw a fence and either double click or hit enter to finalize it. Um, so again, we've selected all those points inside that fence. So I'm gonna hit escape and start over. And then the third tool is the plane tool which has some intelligence to it and what I like to do is first go in with the plane tool and select the walls and floor around all the objects and assign those to different scan regions first then it makes it a lot easier to go in and select individual items that you might want to put in their own regions so let's go ahead and do that so I have the plane tool selected and I'm going to select this right side wall. So let's select several points. And you don't need quite this many, but I like to have a, at least four points spread out on the plane I want it to select. And then hit enter. And you see it turns white all these points on the wall. So there is a, an adjustment at the bottom you'll see called plane depth where you can make that search uh, thicker or thinner. So it's set at 50 millimeters. We'll just leave it at that for this. It seems to be selecting the wall. But if you had a wall that was not perfectly flat, you could up this value a bit and it would still select it. So now that we have a wall selected, that brings us to scan regions. So what I want to do is create a new region um, at the bottom, you'll see this menu called Region, and I'll click New Region. Then I'll just name this Right Wall. Um, OK. And you see it has turned these points green. So in the bottom right-hand corner, you'll see the Project Navigator. And the Project Navigator contains view states where you can save different views of the scene and with different settings of the point clouds and recall those at any time. Um, you're also going to see scan locations which has the location of each scan in the scene and you turn the view on and off on those. From here and and what we're going over now of course is a scan region so let's take a look inside there and you'll see the region I just made right wall is in the list here and in here you can change the color and um, this color only shows up on the points when you have that region selected so once I deselect it'll go back to the RGB color or whatever setting you have currently for the points so I'm gonna we'll make it orange um, and you can also toggle on and off those points so this is really handy you can see already just by being able to turn off that wall, we can we can see inside very easily. So let's go ahead and make a few more regions. We just want to get the main walls and floor into their own regions. So what I like to do as I'm trying to separate a scene like this is as I assign something, I go ahead and turn it off or alternatively lock the region. 
One other thing I should point out is if you have a couple extra pieces that you want to add to that region you just made, it's pretty easy. So we have these couple outlets that were on the wall. Let's go back to the rectangular selection window. You can also select escape to do this. Hold shift to multi-select. So I have these two little junction boxes and I'm just gonna go to region at the bottom and then click the existing right wall and it will assign those points to that region. So now they're included with that. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the floor next. So for the floor, we'll do the same thing. We'll go back to the plane tool and I'll just select uh, several points that are on the floor. Spread out, that's plenty and hit enter. And you can see again, it's done a pretty good job of selecting all the points on that floor. And we'll make a new region called floor. Okay. And again, I'll turn that off and we'll do the same thing with this right uh, left wall. So let me select a bunch of points and we'll make a new region called left wall. Okay. So to select the front, what I want to do is I want to go into orthographic top view mode and just draw a rectangular fence around this whole front. So to do that, I'm going to go into display and then under the UI elements menu, if I turn off perspective, you'll see the camera goes into orthographic mode. And up in the right hand corner, I have this cube and I can just click the top of the cube. And that puts me into top view ortho mode. So now I can just draw a fence with the rectangular window right around the entire front of the tech shop, like so. And you can see I've selected the entire front and I can put that all in its own region called front wall. So, and then I'll do the same thing with the top. So I'll go to front view. And I want to put the whole ceiling into its own layer. So let's go ahead and grab that. Uh, I'll go ahead and put the lights in their own region. And it's up to you, of course, how much you want to split the scene up. Um, let's go ahead and put the these uh beams into their own layer. So another option with scan regions, if you would like to further organize your scene, is you can actually create groups of scan regions. So to do that, what we can do is just drag one region on top of another. For instance, I'll make I'll put all my walls into one group. So I'll drag right wall onto left wall and you can see it makes a new region group which includes those items so let's go ahead and call this walls and we can drag the front wall into there as well and so now we can turn off the whole group or individual items from the group now I can just turn off some of these layers and switch to ortho top view mode now it's going to be really easy to go in and select all these little individual objects. And I could go ahead, I could put each one of these in its own region if I wanted to. So I could use the polygonal fence and it's 01. Okay. Well, here's another thing. Um, we have some, some points we want to get rid of. There's a person has walked through the scan here. That's what this these noisy points are. You can see the silhouette of someone right here. So let's go ahead and delete those points. I'm just going to fence those. And I'm going to use the clip inside. So that's going to clip the points inside of that selection. 
and clipped points are not deleted. So if I hit unclip all or unclip last, those points will come back. So to wrap things up, you would just continue using the selection tools and you can cut up the scene however you please. And at the end, you'll have a nice organized scene where you can turn different parts on and off as needed. Thanks for watching.